Glamour woman is making it big in the construction industry, but you won't see her buildings among the others that lie on the streets of the Harbor City. Judith Chin is a major player in the virtual development world as a designer for Google Earth. And she is the first person in Canada, certified by Google, to take part in the groundbreaking project. Our Mid Island Bureau Chief Jonathan Bartlett has her story. Meet Judith Chin, Canada's first Google-certified Geo3D developer. First in Canada and the first woman in the world. Yeah. How does that feel? Uh, pretty cool. It's, it's really neat. So what is a Google-certified Geo3D developer? If you've looked at Google Earth lately and zoomed into Nanaimo, you've probably seen her work. Chin builds 3D models of buildings and structures that are overlaid into Google Earth. She built the Aquatic Centre, the Ice Centre, and the Bastion Street Bridge. We live in a 3D environment. I mean, it's just, it's so much easier to interpret a, a house that is in three-dimensional or a building that is in three-dimensional. And what's really neat is, is the, the spatial relationships. So here's a hotel, here's the restaurant, here's the Civic Centre, and, and, you know, it's, it's just a great opportunity to really visualize your community. Chin charges between $150 and $1,000 per building, depending on how intricate the work is. I uh, do a site visit, I photograph the site, I do an assessment, and uh, we work from there, develop the building, add text to the building, and uh, a link to the building, and uh, it's uh, accessible within uh, a week on Google Earth. A few years ago, Nanaimo was given the title of Google Earth's Capital of the World. And if you've looked lately, you'll have noticed the satellite imagery for Nanaimo has been updated, and so is the terrain elevation. And that is fantastic for us. It means our, our hills and our, our, our just, it shows every indentation now and uh, we'll be able to build much more accurate models. The technology is not just for entertainment or promotion. In the aftermath of New Zealand's devastating earthquake in Christchurch two weeks ago, Google Earth has proven to be a valuable tool. It was used uh, by the media during the earthquake to help orientate people to uh, the damage that was going on. It was also used during the, uh, the earthquake response uh, uh, portion of the, the earthquake where the people were coming in from uh, other communities helping uh, uh, rescue people. Ten years ago, this would be considered by many as science fiction. It'll be exciting to see where the technology goes next. And Jonathan joins us now live in our beer. Jonathan, that's the question. Where does this technology go next? Well, the focus right now for, for Google Earth is on mobile platforms, uh, iPad, iPhone, Android, that sort of thing. Beyond that, augmented reality will be the next thing where you hold up your handheld device and we'll see an overlay of information, be it directions to a restaurant or historic information of a building. In fact, that kind of thing is already here. Wow, fascinating stuff. Now, is Nanaimo still considered the Google capital, uh, Google Earth capital of the world? Well, that was a term coined by the chief technical officer of Google Earth in 2008, who remarked at a conference in Vancouver that Nanaimo was one of the first cities to get Google Earth. Nanaimo got on board early and offered up a lot of data, property lines, business licenses, zoning information, you name it. A lot of other cities have now no doubt caught up with Nanaimo, but to a certain, ex to a certain extent. But the Harbor City is still very progressive with this technology. That's Boy, is it ever. Jonathan, thank you. Thank you.